Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Yasha, if you're new here. Today I wanted to talk about applying to prelim programs because I feel like these applications don't get enough love. We're also focused on getting into a residency that this medicine or surgery or TY intern year situation just gets a little bit lost and there isn't a lot of advice on the internet. So I thought today I would focus my video on this topic of intern year. The first thing I want to talk about is just in general, what are the three different types of intern years? The first is surgery, which is the most rigorous. You end up taking a lot of call and you have really long hours. Um, but if you like fast rounds, if you like to be in the OR, a surgery year might be a good fit for you. The second type of intern year is medicine, which I believe is probably the most common. You spend most of your time rounding. When you're on a medicine intern year, you are on inpatient call a lot of the time, and there are probably a couple months of elective or a couple blocks of elective if you look at each program that will vary slightly, but that's pretty much the makeup of a medicine intern year. And then that brings me to the third type of intern year, which is a transitional year, which ends up being a little bit of a mix. You can do a surgery month, you can do, you have to do a certain number of medicine months, and then the rest of it is kind of elective time. So I think we got to do a month of emergency medicine, I got to do a couple weeks of radiology, a couple weeks of nuclear medicine, and you're able to kind of tailor the year a little bit more to your interests, more than a medicine or a surgery intern year. So now that we've reviewed the basics of each type of program, I just wanted to talk about five tips when you're applying. So my first tip when it comes to applying for intern years is to make sure that you do your homework. Make sure that you look at how many months of electives do you really get in each transitional year program, because each one is gonna be different. Some transitional years have more medicine months than some medicine intern programs. So make sure you look at each one really critically. Look at how much call you're gonna have to take, look at what that call means, and talk to current interns, current residents at that program and see what your lifestyle will really be like. My second tip is to apply broadly. You are competing against medical students that are applying to dermatology, ophthalmology, radiology, IR and DR, um, PM and R. I mean, some of the anesthesia, like some, these are like competitive specialties and you wanna make sure that you have applied broadly enough that you will match into an intern year. There are a lot of cases where people will match into a residency, into an advanced program, but they don't match an intern year. Don't limit yourself. And I promise applying on day one is so much less stress than waiting a couple months, not hearing back, and then having to kind of scramble to apply and call more programs. So just try to apply broadly, apply to more places than you think you need to for intern year because you might be a little bit surprised with the kind of response that you get. That brings me nicely to my third tip, which is to ask for an intern year interview at the places that you have received an interview for the advanced program. Sometimes this can help if you don't want to move, you can say, oh, I got an interview for the radiology program. Would you mind like at the same time if I could interview for internal medicine? And sometimes that will help, sometimes they will just ignore you. But I don't think it hurts at all to just kind of reach out and see, especially if you're in a boat where you feel like you're not getting enough interviews. That can be one way to kind of nudge them in the, in the right direction. My fourth tip is to answer a question that I get frequently, which is like, should I change my application for intern year programs? And the answer to that is, you don't have to at all. It's not required, and I don't even think that they really look into it that much. Um, but if you really want to change something, or if there's a specific place you're targeting, change the last few sentences of your personal statement to say why doing blank intern year would help you in your career, that could be a really good and fast and easy way to change your personal statement, which is still tailored towards like radiology, ophthalmology, but say like why that transitional year or that medicine year or that surgery year will help you in your career. And I think that would probably be enough of a change for them to feel like, okay, she tried. You know what I mean? Like you don't need to go above and beyond. They're only going to have you for a year. So just tailor it a little bit, but otherwise it's really not required. And then the last thing is, do I need a specific letter for intern year? The answer is no. You can use the same letters that you already have because they're not really looking at letters specifically for the intern year. Like I said, you're only there for a year. But I think I did ask one of my letter writers for a specific intern year letter. I don't think it helped or hurt me. I think that it's just kind of whatever. So if you have a good letter writer that you feel like would get it in on time, I think that's more important is it being on time, then changing your letters around. So whatever you think will work to get everything in on time, if you have the capability, if you have a great letter writer, go for it. But again, it's not required. 
So hopefully that video helped answer some questions on intern year that I get. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter or on Instagram at yashaguptamd and give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!